unfortunately. Um, so first... Oh, let's... <laughs> Hi, this is Mark from iloveweightloss.co.uk, the place to be to lose fat and increase your muscle tone. Now today I'm going to be talking about the Special K Diet. Now you've probably seen the adverts for the Special K Diet and similar cereal diets. You might have even tried them yourself or even be on the Special K Diet right now. Basically, I believe you're allowed to eat cereal for breakfast and lunch and then you're recommended a normal dinner. Now I've looked into these types of diets um, a lot just to see if they've got any validity. I mean, you can actually always learn something from even the most unlikely sources. Um, first things first, let's give Kellogg's a positive. They seem to have put um, a fair bit of emphasis on fitting back into your genes rather than weight loss. So in that respect, they're almost onto a good thing. The only problem with it is that you're going to be losing a lot of muscle um, as a woman, and this is directed at women, um, as well as fat. So that's why the genes would be looser. Anyway, that's where the positives stop, unfortunately. So, first things first, let's see what's in this cereal. First, I'm going to weigh this bowl for this, or this little pot, for this scientific experiment. I'm not weird, it will become apparent very, very soon. Most people just pour their cereal, and um, I do. If I ever have cereal, or if I, have, I never weigh my food, you really don't want to become someone that does weigh your food, but this is kind of what I would be having if I had a normal bowl. You're not a bodybuilder, so you shouldn't be weighing your food. That's a normal, normal person's bowl, and according to Special K, I would normally be having, if I was having their portions, 30 grams of carbohydrates, uh, useless carbs, I might add, and 12 grams of this is sugar. Now let's see what this normal bowl of cereal actually weighs. So, I've got my little thing, and that is actually 79 grams. So this normal bowl is 79 grams. So that would mean that 69 grams of carbohydrates, um, 33 grams of which is sugar. Now, if you have this for breakfast um, and then for lunch as well, you're gonna be having 44 grams of sugar just in your meals. 44 grams of sugar is this much. Let's just tear it. So, there you go. 44 grams ooh, is this much sugar. This is how much you'd be having in a day. An awful lot. So there we go. That is 44 grams of sugar. In, that is what you'd be having in your day. Now, if you've ever done this diet before, um, or you're doing it right now, it doesn't make you a bad person. I just wanted to highlight something that most of us wouldn't realize. I mean, could you ever imagine putting 44 grams of sugar uh, onto your food that you eat in the day, your normal food, your breakfast and your lunch? Uh, I certainly couldn't. And obviously you probably know that sugar is very, very bad for weight loss and for health. Um, so I just wanted to highlight this to you. I hope you enjoyed this video and, find, and found it enlightening. Um, please comment below and let me know if you're on the Special K diet. But I wanted to highlight the fact that um, these companies um, do all their recommended dosages and all their, um, their stats based on small amounts. Basically, amounts that you wouldn't normally be having in the day. I mean, I, like I said, that was 80 grams, and they're recommending 30 grams in a bowl, which isn't very realistic for most. Uh, as always, the best discussions happen over at iloveweightloss.co.uk, so go there now and leave a comment. Did you like this video? If so, subscribe and share it with your friends. And if you want even more great resources to create the body that you want, then, and the opportunity actually to download a free chapter of our book, The Weight Loss Cure, go over to iloveweightloss.co.uk and subscribe to our emails. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time on iloveweightloss.co.uk TV. Okay. Ah, oh, stop on. Okay, now I can rip it. So, Joke, I'll cut this bit in. Start off, Mark's going to demonstrate for me. He's going to start in a standing position. He's then going to walk out with his hands. 